So I just got back from LA about a week ago. I've got a few souvenirs here. My Los Angeles Rams hat and this $93 parking ticket. Anyway, it was cool other than the that. I don't want to kill myself today. Went down there, played a couple shows. I was able to, you know, hang out with some friends that I hadn't seen in a really long time, which was awesome. But I was hanging out with my friend Zach and we were going through some old footage that he had shot while we were in college and we came across this behind the scenes stuff that apparently he's had for a really long time and I had no idea it existed but it's this making of footage of uh, four music videos for my Winter Moon EP. It's a little overdue but you know I thought in honor of my trip back to LA I would kind of cut together a mini documentary if you will of the, the four music videos for that EP. And so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna share it with you. Hopefully you enjoy it. One, two, three, four. I think the first video that we shot was Mama Don't Allow No Punk Rock in Here. And we really wanted to capture the spirit of like the early 2000s MTV alternative music videos that were just you just don't see them nowadays and we kind of wanted it to be a little bit of an homage to those So the three guys in that video in the band those are all my roommates those are all guys that I lived with senior year Eric, Taryn, and Zach. But the way that I like to make movies is I like to do it very skeleton crew, guerrilla style. Just gather a few of my friends and run off to a location. And so that's what I did with all of these videos. This is me and Taryn's room. And we transformed this place in about an hour into a set. We basically just went in to Zach and Taryn's room and we cleared everything out of it. We cleared their beds, we cleared their desks and everything. And we ended up putting all that crap in the living room temporarily and the shot with this little scene in this band room. We're actually tying up the camera to the lamp to get this crazy cool up shot. So the mom in that video, very important character, she is actually my friend Luke's mom. She's not an actress at all and she she's not acting in that video. That's her. And I just knew like the kind of person that she was, she would do so good in this role and she really was just the perfect person to play the mom in this video. <laughs> Another successful day of filming at the Pamplin residence. I think the second video we shot was The Great and Terrible. And that, that, that video was easily the most stressful of them all. So what are we doing right now, Zach? We're doing a time lapse. Uh, and hoping that people don't Whack the legs of our tripod as we turn this corner. We knew we were going to go into Santa Monica Pier with just a camera and no permit and just have to shoot it on like as quick as we could. So we did so much pre-work. We actually did a bunch of test shoots on campus to make sure that these time lapses would work and the timing was perfect and everything so that we, when we got to the pier, we could just shoot it and get out as quick as possible without getting, you know, our footage taken from us or kicked off or whatever. How long have we been doing this for? Um, 29 minutes. And, and we're gonna go another half an hour. So we're halfway finished. Halfway done. And this is all for 
two minutes of video. Yes. But we actually ended up encountering a security guard or somebody of importance and he kind of told us we were not allowed to shoot in the carnival area but it was really important to me that I got that Ferris wheel in the background just so people knew that that it was the Santa Monica Pier because that's one of my favorite places in Southern California and I really just wanted to capture the atmosphere of that. Yeah Mike's been helping us shoot he's, he's the glide cam master. Yeah actually I call it the fly. Oh the fly cam. Yeah yes. right now my fly is unzipped as you can see over here with this hinge, when it's in this position, it's called being unzipped, so my fly's unzipped. Um, and this is the down position, so my fly's down. Nice. So, yeah. Great. Cool. Well, thanks, Mike. The last part of that video, when I'm walking down the pier, if you notice, it's in slow motion, but my mouth is moving in real time. Basically, what we had to do is we, we had to speed the song up significantly. And I was actually carrying some portable speakers down under my chest, out of the range of the camera, and they were playing this song that was sped up, and it was all chipmunky. Um, and I had to keep a straight face as I walked down this pier, just singing along to this chipmunk song. And so all those people who are turning and looking at me, that's why they're looking at me, because I'm just some crazy dude walking down the pier uh, singing a chipmunk song. You know, I just had to do it. Like, I'm never going to see any of these people again. They're going to think I'm crazy. That's fine. There's a lot of crazy people on the Santa Monica Pier. So I just, you know, I fit in with about half of them. All right, Daniel. Go. third video, uh, Treat Me Right, I really just wanted to experiment with the one shot. You see different ones in Goodfellas and Boogie Nights and some other movies. I always just really appreciate the time and effort and the choreography and everything else that just goes into these one shot videos. I really wanted to um, tackle one of those. ways it can look like you're playing is if you're actually playing so we knew that song and so those guys are actually really good musicians they're not faking it you could probably tell we had the recording obviously underneath us because we wanted to make sure the timing was accurate but we are actually playing that song and our amps are plugged in everything's plugged in I was very intentional about writing songs that could be in, put in movies and made into music videos, and so that's what they all have in common. I don't really think there's anything else they have in common. Winter Moon, the title track of the EP, this is the one that wrapped him up, you know? I really wanted to make it cinematic, almost like it was more of a short film than a music video. We went up to Griffith Park, because that's literally the only place in the LA area that you could just drive to in one day that looks like it's in the mountains. I just went to Google Maps and I was like, okay, I want to find a big green area and that's where I'm going to head. And then I saw this big, big park and nobody ever told me that it existed. It was 
kind of cool. It was like I discovered my own treasure. Daniel had the great idea that we would walk over here, check out the location. Well, you know those film and majors. Bring all the equipment. I wanted afterwards. to make sure that we uh, we didn't want to. These shoot film this. majors are always so great at planning. <laughs> When I went there to scout the place out and I ended up stumbling upon the abandoned zoo, the old LA zoo, and that was such a cool discovery. And I ended up working it into the, the story of the video. So we are back from our little <laughs> hike there. And now we're gonna pick up our equipment and go straight back to where we went. Uh, you on know my what, pogo Zach? Stick. I don't like your yeah, attitude. I'm a our pogo, pogo stick. stick. She I like your attitude. Pogo stick. <laughs> We went up there again, no permit. We didn't have any permission to film there whatsoever. It was just me and Zach on the camera, and then Eric as Scary Bird, and then Corinne, who I just met. This is um, Corinne, right? Corinne. Corinne. Excuse me. She's too Corinthians. famous Hello. for me to. Hi. Yeah, gotta hide my machete in there. She's the star of our, our film today. I barely knew her, but as I was coming up with the story for this Winter Moon video, I just randomly out of the blue approached her and said, hey, do you want to be in this music video? Because she just seemed to have that kind of personality that she would just be down to go off into Griffith Park with a bunch of random people and shoot a video because it was a fun experience. And it turned out I was right. She was really excited and I'm pretty good friends with her to this day. It's been six hours of us recording the same shot over and over and over again. The robe that the Scary Bird is wearing is actually my graduation gown. And I think that's kind of fitting, honestly, because the Winter Moon video kind of wraps up my college experience. And so it was just funny because it kind of represented senior year. And it was, you know, the bird was wearing my, my graduation gown. And, and he wore it before I did. Here's the mask. <laughs> A scary bird. Yeah, Daniel got this from like a sex oh store. Oh my god, I got it from eBay. <laughs> I got it from eBay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope we don't like creep any like families out. Like, this is a, there was that family like walking with their kids. <laughs> and then you see this later and Hi. like. How's it going? <laughs> and there's nothing I can do to escape from you. There's nothing I can do. These music videos kind of wrap up my whole California experience. All the joy I had, all the pain I had, all the good times, the bad times. California has been really not so good to me a lot of the time, but it has inspired me like crazy. And so I really just value the memories uh, that I made with these, these videos and, and writing these songs. Some of the fans are wondering, Scary Bird, did you, uh, how did you come to Christ? How did you, uh, from your very harsh past? Well, there's a passage that talks about, um, don't worry about your life. Look at the birds of the air. Before you know the Lord, your God takes care of them. You know, I was like, well, might as well follow this guy named Jesus, so. Oh, very powerful story. Uh, thank you for always sharing your testimony and being willing to speak about those things. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, Don't uh, do so drugs, long kids. for now. Uh, thanks so much for your time, for your interview, Scary Bird. Uh, and we'll see you fans later. Uh -huh.